channel, I'm Monica Ramchandani and I welcome you to the last episode of this series Simplifying Asian Force. In this episode, we are going to learn how we can implement and integrate Slack with Salesforce and how we can integrate our Asian Force agent in Slack. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. But before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, a click on the subscribe button below will be really, really awesome. Now without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Now, first, we need to install Slack connector. For this, I'll give you the link which redirects you to this install Slack platform connector app, right? Now install it for all the users. I acknowledge and install. That can take a few minutes, but once that's installed, I'll be able to show you the other steps as well. Okay, so the installation is complete. Let's click on done. It will redirect us to our org and once we are in the org in install packages you will be able to see slack platform connector this is the app that we have just installed now the next thing you will have to do is go to my domain search for company settings my domain and click on that and copy the domain okay this domain you can paste it somewhere because we are going to use it in the future mm, we'll copy this domain i will just add it in the address bar so that i have it somewhere okay now the next step is to create a slack workspace for you okay so let's just go here yes okay this is the link Let's go here and here you will find this link. I will add this link in the description box as well. Now I'm going to create a new workspace with you so that you know it. Let's just go to Google. Continue. It will show you the existing workspace that you have as well. And if you want, you can create one for this example. Let's click on create a workspace. If you'll see, it gives me the workspace that I have with my other IDs. But I would like to create a workspace to work with you. Let's click on this one. So it now asks what's the workspace name. Let's just say support agent workspace. Okay. Next. Hmm, that's fine. Next. And just skip this step because I don't want to invite anyone right now and that's my workspace okay so by now I have a, a slack app installed in my org and also I have a new workspace for my example right so two steps are done now the next thing is to ask for a Salesforce connection okay so for that you will go here on this drop down tools and settings and manage Salesforce organization taking more than usual okay now it says connect salesforce connect slack with salesforce or when you connect it your tpn view add it and get notified about salesforce records directly in slack so that means once we have the connection uh, our users our agents won't have to actually log into agent log into salesforce to get a data they will get the data or do the modification in the data in slack itself okay let's just say get started here now you will have to paste your salesforce org's domain okay so copy it from here and paste it here now remove this one and continue okay now this is done click on okay now you have sent a connection request to salesforce it says waiting for approval okay now we'll have to approve it from salesforce Let's just go to Salesforce and search for Slack. You will see manage Slack connection. Click on that. And you see this is the new connection for support agent workspace that we have just sent from Slack. We'll agree, agree and approve. Okay, approval is done from here. Now we will go to Slack again, tools and settings, manage Salesforce. Okay. So these are a lot of steps, but just a simple ones, right? Okay. Now here you can see ready to activate. That means the connection has been approved from Salesforce. 
Now from here we will click on view details and we will activate this connection okay. Now this connection has been approved okay. Okay once it shows connected we will go to users because we have not added any user now we will add a user individually and individually and then we will select our user grant access to one person. You can choose any user or your user, but at least your user should have access to it so that you can, you know, see everything in Slack. Now that I have added my user, the final part is to sign in with your Agent Force credential in Slack. Now what you can do is go to the home page of your Slack, um, go to this arrow sign, preferences and select Salesforce. Now here you see this org, but it says disconnected. For the one time, you'll have to sign in to Salesforce with your credentials, okay? Uh, let's say continue to Salesforce. And I'll have to add the password. Oops, sorry, caps is on. Okay, and we'll allow it. Because we want Slack to access our data, that's how the agents will be able to modify the data, right? Once you have this connected, just close this window and now you have your Salesforce or connected with Slack officially. You have all the Salesforce data in Slack and that you can use it, okay? Now, the next thing is to connect Agent Force with Slack. That means creating a connection between the Slack a workspace that you have and the agent force agent that we have created now for that we'll go to agent force agents open your agent and here we'll go to connections if you'll scroll down you'll see there are no connections let's click on the add button for options choose api integration name let's say uh, slack support agent and for connected app search for slack and you will see this slack this is the url you don't have to change anything and click on save and that's how you have just created a connection between slack and your agent force agent now comes the final step to deploy our agent in slack okay for installing agent force agent in your slack workspace go to this drop down tools and settings and manage agent force once you have the connection, you can see the Manage Agent Force option and from there itself, we will install the Agent Force agent. Now here you will see we have our support agent with which we have just created an, a connection. Now we will click on Review and we will allow it. So it just gives the permission to send messages or respond to mentions, create uh, channels or uh, other stuff. Once we have the access, we will have our Agent Force agent working in our Slack organization. This is done. This is activated, but it says who can use it? No one can use it, the agent. Let's just edit it and make it to everyone. So all the workspace members can use this agent. Whoever is in your workspace as a user will be able to use this agent. And that's the idea, right? To help the agent use this agent. Now that's done. Agent Force permissions are done and i think we are good let's just refresh our slack org the slack workspace we have created and now we should see our agent okay now this is our slack workspace and you will see agent force added here because we have added a connection and installed an agent you can go here and you will be able to see all the agents that has been connected with the salesforce slack workspace now we have just one agent so it's showing me that once you click on that, you'll be able to chat with that agent just like we'll uh, do it in our website or in Agent Force Builder. Now this agent is available for you, for your agent, for your team members to, you know, chat and ask questions, do automated tasks without logging into Salesforce. Or this is how you can actually create an integration between Salesforce and Slack and create a connection between Slack and Agent Force and then finally deploy your Agent Force agent in Slack so that your team members can use it. Now let me show you how Agent Force agent will work in Slack same as it was working on web for the customers. Let's say that I want to check my account details 
or I want to update my account details okay and the same it will answer in web it will same answer here that for this I need your email address that should be the response okay so to help you with your account details I first need to verify your identity could you please provide your email address now the same process will go on here that we have seen in the previous examples as well. This is how you actually implement and integrate Agent Force, Agent in Slack for your team members, for your agents to work together without even having knowledge of uh, Salesforce or without even logging into Salesforce, right? That is it for today's episode. This was the last episode of this series. This is the end of the series. I'll see you super soon with new videos, new features and new talks about Agent Force. Till then, bye-bye, take care and keep learning and don't forget to subscribe this channel.